So this is the Sigma 105mm f1.4 art lens. And today I wanted to look at three different things. I want to do some nature shots, some portraits, and some nighttime photos, and hopefully that will include the stars. So I'm going to be shooting this video in three different parts. The first one being some nature shots. Probably I'll just do one or two shots, maybe some leaves or something. Second part will be uh, some portrait shots with a friend of mine while he's doing some yoga poses, which will still be out in nature just because I want to get those nice colors out of this. And then the third part will be during the night. I'm hoping to get some star shots. Obviously most people are using wide angle lenses for that. But with this being at a 1.4, I thought it could be really interesting just to see what kind of images I can get out of it. And then also I'll add in a different kind of shot with maybe some lights in the background just so we get to see those bokeh balls seeing as now this has been marked as pretty much the bokeh king so most people would get a lens like this for the fact that you can shoot at f1.4 and basically use it at that but obviously that doesn't mean that you can't stop it down and go to f8 or whatever else but i mean the fact that you can stop it down to f4 just to get that nice bokeh in the background and make images just stand out even though most people would use this for portraits you don't have to be stuck to just portraits i can use it for pretty much everything just like any other lens but obviously it's been designed for portrait photography in general but I think this could be great for mountainscapes as well or any other kind of photography. One thing I'm really looking forward to is hopefully getting some shots of some deers. But those kind of videos I'll probably bring out later. For now, let's just focus on the three things that I've talked about. For my first shot here, I'm not doing anything exactly spectacular, but I kind of just wanted to focus on small detail. And I got all these leaves here. The sun is in the background, so some of the leaves are getting backlit and it's bringing out a lot of the detail in the leaves so you see like the veins of the leaves and stuff and that's what i want to focus on i'm shooting this at one 400th of a second iso 250 and of course f 1.4 so basically i just want to see how much detail this lens will bring out but obviously shooting f 1.4 you're going to blur out the background a lot the detail is all going to be focused on that leaf so hopefully i get some great detail out of this The light is kind of running out at the moment. There's a little bit of sun left in the sky. I just found this spot here where it's a little bit open and there's these ferns just scattered around here. And at the front here, I've got a lot of nettles growing, which I kind of want to use as framing. So basically I'll be shooting through them to get the ferns in the background. And by doing this, you'll get this nice bokeh in the front, but bring out the detail kind of in the center of the image. And hopefully the colors in the sky right now will bring out a little bit more color in the ferns as well. For the shutter, I've got my shutter speed at one 320th of a second. I'm using ISO 400 and obviously F1.4. So now we're into the second part. I'm with my friend here live, and he's gonna be doing some awesome yoga poses in this beautiful canopy of trees here that yeah. we're in. Um, he's been doing this a lot lately, so if you wanna check out some of his stuff, I've got his Instagram and YouTube links below. So yeah, go and check that out. But otherwise, right now, we're in this amazing or beautiful canopy of trees here. And what's gonna happen is life is gonna stand a little bit further back, do some of his poses. And what I'm trying to do is basically I'm not going to focus on just getting portraits. I want to see full body shots and see what the background turns out uh, at f1.4. See if the background still blurs out just as much or at least blurs out so you get that nice pop out of the image. Okay, so I've got live now standing a little bit further back from me. So I'll be getting his whole body in here. The area is standing in, uh, the trees have kind of got like this nice L shape to it. So what we're thinking is for him to do a handstand kind of in the same shape as the, the trees, just to kind of give it some nice detail and the fact that he can do that is pretty awesome. And of course, I'm shooting this at f1.4. I've got my shutter speed now at 320th of a second and also my ISO at 125. So I'm gonna go lower down onto the ground just so I get the, the angle of the ground as well. So it just draws you in with it being the way it is in here. You want everything to draw you in. I'm gonna shoot landscape just so you get those leading lines in with the image. And obviously life will be pretty much in the center of this. So I've noticed that I need to put up my shutter speed a little bit. So now I'm shooting this at one 500th of a second and ISO 160, just so I make sure that I freeze every bit of motion here because every time his foot moves or something, it blurs out just slightly, so. Cool. Perfect, man. <laughs> So 
we just stopped at our second location and we're in this absolutely gorgeous forest right now. The sun is starting to go down but it's literally right there and what I'm wanting to do now is kind of get like a backlit photo of life and also kind of just test the flaring of the lens as well, just see how well it controls it. What I want to try and introduce as well, I'm, I've got this little leaf here that I'm going to basically hold in front of the lens just to kind of add a little bit of depth to the image as well, a little bit of blur and a little bit of color. So in here it's a little bit darker than it was at the first location. So I've got my shutter speed down to one four hundredth of a second and I've pumped my ISO up to 320. Of course, still shooting at f1.4 because this is what we want to test. I'm just going to let life do a couple of different poses. So I'm going to shoot this lower down on the ground. I'm going to actually shoot this one in a portrait angle just to be able to get the light in from the sun as well, just to feed that in a little bit. Alright, so I just wanted to test out the lens for one more thing to see the AF speed and see if it's any good for sports. I've got my friend Life right now on his motorbike and he's going to drive through as fast as he can at least here. And we can see how fast the AF works in this. I've got it on continuous high and also the camera will only allow the photos to be taken when it has racked focus. So this way you can kind of see where the jumps will be. But otherwise I'm hoping that it will catch focus every single time. So yeah, let's just test this out and hopefully it works. One thing I noticed from a distance, it pretty much keeps up with it all the way, but as soon as it gets quite close, when you start getting a little bit too close in the frame, it cuts out, but it just about manages to get the shot. So works really well. I'm going to do this one more time just for for luck's sake and see how it works but this time I'm going to shoot in portrait to see if it changes but otherwise landscape is working really well apart from when it gets a little bit too close. So yeah let's just test this out one more time. So funny enough that worked really well. The only thing I had a problem now was with actually was my buffer but otherwise works great. And I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, man. Thanks for your help yeah. today. That was just really great to have you here. Dude, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. That was no fun. problem, man. Thanks. See you guys. Okay, so it's the middle of the night right now. And I'm basically out here because I'm wanting to get a shot of these lights here in the background just to be able to get those nice bokeh balls. And right now there's this light here on the pier that I'm on that is lighting up my face and what I'm going to do is focus on one of these lights which will basically allow everything in the background to blur out. I'm not sure if I'll do it too close but I'll see if it'll work from a distance as well. I'll have to set my camera on a tripod to make this work because obviously it's night time but hopefully the image is going to look good. It's not the most amazing shot but this at least works for what I'm trying to get right now. So I've got it just under one second, so almost two seconds, at f1.4 and ISO 64, just so I don't get any grain in this image. Otherwise, I think this will work. That much time on the shutter actually makes it a little bit too bright, but I'm still trying to get a bit of detail in the dark areas. Okay, so there was one more shot I wanted to take and that was shooting some stars with the lens. But lately it's been moonlit skies, which has made it a little bit more difficult. I wasn't able to film the part I wanted to do anyway, but I managed to take a photo from my porch and of the fortress in the town. So the only way for me to do this was to take multiple shots. The fortress has lights on it as well. So I had to take a shot that basically had a correct exposure for the fortress to get back the detail from the lights on it and then take a shot that was overexposed to bring out the stars take another shot where i underexposed to be able to bring some of the detail back in the moon so yeah this is the shot i ended up with So all in all, I 
would say that this is a really good lens and I'm quite surprised by pretty much everything it can do. It's control for flare, it's control for uh, chromatic aberration, it's autofocus speed is just really good as well. I can really rely on this for multiple types of photography and different situations. I will still be testing this out in some darker venues, so uh, doing some concerts and stuff as well. Obviously this is my lens, so I will be doing a lot of different photography with this so if there is anything else you guys would like me to include later on or if there's any information you would like to know then just leave me a comment and maybe I can do a, a video later on for that but otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed this little review it wasn't exactly a scientific review but I think some of us prefer to see something a bit more in the real world and that's kind of what I wanted to represent in this so I've also left some links below of each of the images that I took so that you can take a closer look. And please make sure to click on the links to my friend Life just to check out his Instagram and YouTube channel as well. So I hope this review was helpful to you. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.